Hello everyone. I'm Abhinav Gupta, founder of Depex. And today we'll take a look at how Depex outperforms Terraform while creating a simple infrastructure from scratch. The infrastructure we'll be creating is as follows. We'll create a VPC. Inside that VPC, we'll create a security group and a subnet and then create an EC2 instance attached to the created subnet and security group. First, let's use Terraform to show how we can create this infrastructure within Terraform. I'm going to just fast forward through this code because the objective of this video is not to teach you how to use Terraform, but to just highlight the key differences between Depex and Terraform. Now let's run this script. As you can see, the infra has been deployed. It took a while and you also needed to know the HashiCorp language. Let me just destroy this real quick and then we'll jump on to Depex and see how Depex can de deploy the exact same infrastructure at a fraction of time and effort. Once we have destroyed all the resources we just created using Terraform, let's jump into Depex. You'll see how you can create and deploy the exact same infrastructure at a fraction of a time and cost. Let's log into Depex. You can get all these details after doing the first time setup. I will link that video in the description below. Okay, let me just zoom in a bit. Yeah, let's start off by creating a VPC. Let's say create a VPC with a side block of 10.0.0.0 slash 16. Once we do that, we will jump into our AWS console and see everything in real time. As you can see, it just created this VPC for me. Just keep an eye on the VPC ID. If we come here on the VPCs page, you can see that this VPC has been created. It is the exact same ID that we just saw on the Depex page. Coming back here, our next step is to create a subnet. So let's create a subnet in this VPC with a CIDR block of 10.0. Let's go with 2.0 slash 24. Once this executes, we'll jump back into the AWS console to confirm that the subnet has been created. As you can see, the subnet has been successfully created. Just keep an eye on this subnet ID right here. If we jump into the subnets page, you can see that this subnet was just created. Okay, now that we have created the subnet, let's create a security group for us. Let's say create security group in this VPC with SSH enabled. Let's say for now 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. You can put in any IP address here. This is just for the sake of a demo. Once we create the security group, we'll jump back into the AWS console. As soon as we get this confirmation, we can see that this security group has been created with the SSH rule. Let's jump onto the console. Let's take a look. As you can see here, it created a rule for us and it created an SSH connection from anywhere. You can again put any IP address here of your choice. And lastly, let's create the EC2 instance with the security group and the subnet. Let's stick to size T3 micro and 20 GB storage uh, and attach it to this subnet and security group, this one. As soon as we put in all these details, you'll see that an instance cre gets created. We'll jump into the instances page. There's nothing here for now. As soon as this runs, you'll see that an instance gets created attached to this subnet and the security group. Once we get the confirmation, it says that the instance is not connected to the internet and does not have a public IP address. This is because we haven't mentioned these details. By default, it does not have access to the internet and it does not have a public IP address. Let's jump onto the console. Uh, as you can see, 
Depex created EC2 instance right here. We can confirm here that the Depex is connected to this VPC that we just created, Depex created VPC. You can also confirm that it is within the Depex created private subnet. Moving on, let's check the security group. You can check the security group right here. It is connected to a Depex created security group and it only has SSH access from anywhere in the world. This is how we can create a simple infrastructure within Depex without requiring to write even a single line of code. All you need to do is know what you want to deploy and Depex will do the rest for you. This is the advantage of Depex over tools like Terraform and OpenTofu. You can cut down on DevOps costs significantly by just using Depex. If you want to use our platform in your organization, you can fill the lead generation form in the description. You can even reach out to me over LinkedIn. The link is in the description. Please like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe for more such content and updates on how Depex is revolutionizing DevOps with AI. Thanks for watching.